Vanessa the Crafty Gemini. I post weekly how-to video tutorials right here on my YouTube channel and in this video I'm going to teach you how to crochet this 45 minute cowl. Alright guys, so the pattern we're going to be working with for this cowl, you can see it looks a lot more complex than it really is and it whips up really quick because it's a small project and it's called the 45 minute cowl. It's a free pattern that you can download off of Lion Brand Yarns website. Just remember that you'll have to create a free account on lionbrand.com before you can access that huge library that they have full of patterns for crochet, knitting and all kinds of other crafts, alright? So the yarn that we're going to be using for this project is called Amazing and I think it's pretty amazing. It's super soft. I'd never worked with it before so I'm glad I got to create these projects and it's a 53% wool and 47% acrylic blend. And my favorite part is just the variety of color that you get in just one skein of yarn. And to create a cowl like this all you need is one of these. The basic crochet techniques that you'll have to have down in order to create this cowl are making a slip knot, how to make the chain stitches, how to single crochet, and how to double crochet, and then also how to do a slip stitch. And I'll teach you how to make a slip stitch in this video tutorial as well, so no worries. All you need aside from that are some few supplies, so let's go over them. To create one of these 45 minute cowls, all you're gonna need is one skein of Lion Brand Yarn's Amazing Yarn. I have a few other samples here to show you, just to show you some of the different colorways that it comes in. And I love that you get so much variety in just the one skein of yarn, which once it's crocheted out, you can see the texture and the complexity. I mean, it looks a lot more difficult to make than it really is. But aside from that, you'll need some basic crochet supplies. We have a pair of scissors, our tapestry needle here to weave in our ends once we're done. And then I have two crochet hooks here and I'm gonna leave it up to you guys to figure out or to pick which one you wanna use. The pattern for the 45 minute cowl calls for this huge size Q crochet hook, but I like to work it up in a size P hook and I'll show you the difference. Now I followed the exact same pattern that I did in this cowl to create this one. But you can see right off the bat it looks significantly different. We can see in size this one is longer. This one is not quite as long, but the only difference was that I used a size P crochet hook, which is a lot smaller than this size Q. So my stitches were closer together. You can see that you see a lot more of my fingers on this sample than you do on this one. It's a little bit stiffer and because it's shorter it's going to lay closer around your neck and I think it's going to help keep you a little bit warmer. So what I've chosen to do for this tutorial is we're going to work it in a size P crochet hook. Now remember that I've included a link in the description box below on where you can go to find your amazing yarn and where you can purchase these large crochet hooks. All right, so we're starting off with our one skein of Lion Brand's Amazing Yarn, and I'm using uh, the one with the colorway called Aurora, okay? I think this is just super pretty. So now we need to work with two strands of yarn. So I rolled it around here. I'm looking for the loose strand on the outside. Here it is. And now I need to reach in here and grab a bundle of yarn that's on the inside, and that's going to give me my other loose end. So this whole little bundle pops out, and when you get to the end of this bundle, there's going to be another loose end. And here is our other end. So I have one and two ends, right? So I'm gonna grab these two and make my slip knot with both of them. The first step says to chain 38. Now if you've never crocheted with two strands like this, it's really not a big deal because you're gonna do everything the exact same way you would do if you just had one strand of yarn. So I'm gonna chain 38. and 38 chains. All right, so the beginning row says to single crochet in the second chain from the hook and all the way across the row. So here we go, the second chain from the hook. Here's the first one, here's the second. So I'm just coming here, and remember that since we're doing it doubled, you wanna grab two strands of the yarn. So I'm going under these two, and I'm gonna do a single crochet. Remember, single crochet, we don't grab yarn first. We just go through the stitch, grab yarn or yarn over, come through one, and come through the last two that are on your hook. And we're gonna repeat that all the way across. So the next one is in here. Single crochet. And now remember when we get to the end, this is our last chain. Don't get confused with the little slip knot on the end. Just do your last one. And remember if you get confused and you wanna double check, you can always go back and count your stitches. 
All right, so the next step is to slip stitch into the first single crochet, which is at the beginning of the row, to join the whole thing into a ring, right, to make our cow. So I'm going to grab here, I'm going to swing this around this way, and try not to make it have a twist so that it's all even, coming here, and I'm just going to slip stitch into this first single crochet. So just put my hook in through there, find my yarn, come through one, come through the other. That's how you slip stitch. And then you can double check it and make sure. So if I have it like this, there are no twists in it. So this is how the cowl is going to be around my neck. So now basically we're going to build it up to the width to get something like this. Because we've joined it, we're now going to crochet just in rounds, okay? So for the first round, the first step is to chain three. So the same way you normally do everything, just one, two, three chains. So these three chain stitches now belong to this first stitch here, all right? So this is a pretend double crochet and it belongs to this one. So all our double crochets need to start from here and beyond, all right? So we're still gonna end up with 37 double crochets that I need to do and this one just counts as one of them. So aside from these three chain stitches, I'm now going to make 36 double crochet starting off in this second chain from the from the hook, that is. So for double crochet, we yarn over. I'm gonna come in here and I'm going through the entire stitch, okay? Yarn over, come through once, yarn over, go through one, two, yarn over, and go through the last two. So that's a double crochet. Now for the next stitch, I'm coming in right here. So I'm gonna yarn over, go through the stitch, yarn over, pull through once, yarn over, pull through those middle two, yarn over and pull through the last two, all right? And we're just gonna continue our double crochet stitches all the way around. It's a good idea to count your stitches at the end of each round, especially if you're a beginner or you don't feel too confident in your skills yet. Now, the pattern says to join this row to this row, right? To close this up by slip stitching in the top of the beginning chain three. So this is our beginning chain three. One, two, three, this is the top one here. And you see how it's the V shape of a stitch? That's what I'm going to put my hook through, right through both of those. I'm gonna yarn over, grab my yarn and come through that one and just continue to come through the other one. We don't yarn over again, all right? So there I've combined it, so it's one continuous row. And this little part down here, don't worry about this because I'm gonna sew this up together with the tail that we have when we weave in our ends at the end, all right? So now let's move on to the next row. This is round two. So for round two, now the pattern says to chain one. There's my chain one. So here goes, single crochet all the way around. Remember that this chain now belongs to this stitch. So we're gonna start single crocheting in the next stitch from the hook. So I'm coming to the end here. I need to do one more single crochet. And then the pattern says to slip stitch in the first single crochet. So my first single crochet is here. So we're gonna slip stitch and that row is done. Now for the next round, it tells us for rounds three through eight, we're gonna repeat rounds one and two again three more times. So for this row, it's gonna be double crochet. So we start that off with three chain stitches, two, three, and then we double crochet all the way around. Remember not to do it in that one, I start off in the next one. So yarn over, and go in, and start my double crochet. I'm at the end of this double crochet row and I have to slip stitch again. One, two, three at the top of the th chain three we started off with. There we go. Slip stitch. And now I'll start my row of single crochets. So it was the foundation chain stitches, then they had us do a beginning row of single crochet, and then the rounds started off here with the double crochet. So this is round one, and a single crochet row was round two. And then the pattern said to repeat that three more times. So I have a double crochet, single crochet, that's one time. Double crochet, single crochet, that's twice that it's repeated, and a double crochet, single crochet row, that's three times it's repeated. So here, we're just gonna fasten off 
And then here, we have our finished cowl. All we need to do is thread our tapestry needle. Here, we're just gonna go in here. I'm just gonna tie a knot. Some people have problems with tying knots in crochet, I don't. So I'm gonna tie a little knot, and then I'm gonna weave the rest of the ends in. I got some news for you guys. I'm also hosting a giveaway. So if you've sat around and been watching this video tutorial, congratulations, you now know that there is a giveaway involved. Three lucky winners this time are going to receive two skeins of Lion Brand Yarns Amazing Yarn. So three of you lucky winners are gonna get two bundles each and I'll make sure that they're different so you can have some variety. And this giveaway is going to be open to all my worldwide viewers because I'm shipping the yarn out to you myself. So if you wanna enter for a chance to win two skeins of Amazing Yarn, you wanna click open the description box below use the link I've included there and head on over to my blog so you can enter for your chance to win that's it for this video tutorial I hope you enjoyed learning how to crochet the 45 minute cowl remember the link to the pattern is included in the description box below for you I've also included links on where you can buy the amazing yarn by lion brand and also the large crochet hooks that were featured in this video now if you're a beginner please give this project a try I'd love to see pictures post them to my Facebook page, you can tag me across the different social media platforms, or use the hashtag, hashtag Crafty Gemini, and I'll find your post that way as well. If you enjoyed this video, please hit it with the thumbs up below, share it across the different social media sites, and don't forget to click my subscribe button so you won't miss out on any of my future video tutorials. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.